Okay, this is the second video in the Chapter 10 Ghost Lessons playlist. It's going to explore uh, what is an arithmetic sequence. So this will literally be a one screen video, very short. Uh, we're going to define an arithmetic sequence. We've done that on a previous video as well. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence with a constant, that is a very important key word, constant addition or subtraction pattern. Keep in mind that subtraction is just addition of a negative number. So if we have a constant subtraction pattern, that will also fit the bill. So if we look at our example here, we are adding 4 each time. That is a constant addition pattern. So we could say that this was an arithmetic sequence. That 4 is known as the common difference. Now in this class, we are going to use the letter M to represent that because every arithmetic sequence can be written as a linear function. Now in your pre if you go to pre-calculus, you will use a different variable for that. So other videos out there on the internet will probably use the letter D for common difference, but we are not that worried about it. Now every term in the sequence has a term number. So the first term is known as the first or the initial term. And we are going to use the symbol y sub 1 to represent that number, 2. Now again, if you go on to pre-calculus, if you are working in a different Algebra 2 class than my own, you may use a different variable there. Most classes will probably use the lowercase letter a instead of y. So that would be a sub 1. Now every single term in this sequence has a term number. So for instance, 10 would be y sub 3, the third term. 22 would be y sub, what is that, uh, 4, 5, 6, or the sixth term. Okay, every term has a term number. So in this way, we can represent any uh, arithmetic sequence with the point slope form of a line very, very easily. That is, of course, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, in this case, x and x1, those would be term numbers of various terms. Obviously, x1 would be the first term number, which would be 1. If we plugged in like x3, that would be 3. x5 would be 5. The y values, those are going to be the actual terms of the sequence. So if we use y1 would be the first term. If we plugged in y3, that would be the third term. And we already stated once, m is going to be your common difference or your pattern. Whatever you're adding every single time, that is your common difference. So that takes care of our definition. Our next video will cover how to find the nth term, so any term, of an arithmetic sequence.